Hello YouTube viewers, this is Heliok here. Today we're gonna talk about electroplates. As you can see, these are different types of electroplate. They unlock after tier 3. Once you have unlocked armor cube tier 3, they unlock. The main purpose of electroplates are to defend against plasma and rail. That's their main purpose. They are not very good against SMG. They are very costly. As you can see, I only have electroplates and no guns and wheels or anything like that. But see my CPU uses. And not only that, their RP cost or the money that you're gonna pay them is very expensive. As you can see, that's a lot of money. Like that means if you're supposed to buy them. Uh, like literally you can uh, burn five dollars and you will get only few electroplates so they are very very expensive they are very expensive as you can see like that's a lot of rp that you have to run like right now i have around uh, uh, four millions and oh i have collected so much rp so you, they are very expensive and not only that price but they are also very cpu in, uh, cpu intensive as you can see this tier 10 electroplates consume around 56 cpu to put that in perspective level 10 smg would only consume around 28 so gun is actually cheaper than the electroplates in terms of cpu uses why is that well the primary reason for that is that electroplates heal once they've been damaged so if your electroplates get uh, damaged by smgs or uh, plasma and drill specifically it will turn black and you have to wait for around 10 seconds to allow it to heal back and it will make an electric uh, sparkle kind of sound like uh, sort of sound to uh, uh, tell you again that it's healing back so that healing factor requires it to be very um, cpu intensive so that's the reason it's very interesting. And one point you have to understand that it is not ambidextrous, which means that you have to unlock right and left independent of each other. So as you can see, they are both. It's not like you have once uh, you pay like 50 stars to unlock one of them. Yeah, then you have to pay 50 stars to unlock another of them. It's not like uh, 100 star and both are unlocked. So they both unlock independently. You can use this to your advantage where you can directly, you know, keep jumping and some uh, players have come up with interesting design where they have only used right side or left side of something and cover the entire ship with it so uh, you can do that and you also have to buy them they don't uh, it's not a uh, pierce in pair so you have to buy them separately right left you know right left kind of thing so those two things to be kept in mind and uh, one uh, very important thing is uh, tier level of this as you can see each electroplate has their tier rated uh, on them itself this actually matters uh, believe it or not is that covering your vehicle in electroplate is not enough you have to make sure that you cover them in very high tiers reason for that let's say this is tier 3 and i cover my whole vehicle in this it's not gonna hold up against even tier 3 guns it's not gonna hold up it's uh, best for tier 2 so electroplate has to be one tier lower and in tier 10 you can't do much about it so you have to play in tier 10 so for th that reason you have to be very careful with this covering your ship like let's say you have some opening and you decided okay uh, i covered most of my ship with tier 10 now i'm gonna use you know tier 5 or 6 or even 9 it's not gonna hold up back what happens when you use a very um, kind of low tier guns let's say if i use tier 9 uh, tier 8 and somebody shoots it with tier uh, 9 weapon it's gonna die in one shot although my vehicle will survive but this will be uh, like a sacrifice it's like suicide bombing it will blow itself up to protect you so you have to be very careful just covering your ship up uh, is not enough you have to make sure that you cover it with highest tier possible in that game as you can see i have put till tier 10 electroplates and my tier level is only 9 so I still can make a vehicle with tier 10 armor so that you have to make sure and this is where it gets tricky uh, you have to design your vehicle around electroplate electroplate is not gonna you know listen to you basically so uh, this is where you have to be creative this is what I like about uh, Robocraft even if you pay and buy a boatload of them you have to still figure out how to put them in a vehicle with uh, very less uh, 
gap or space between them. As you can see, like you can't put one uh, to another. Okay, oh, yeah. so they have to be uh, mounted to a block. So that's a way to protect it from being like very overpowered. And electroplates are very well served for. Uh, aerial vehicles because uh, electroplates are light in terms of their weight they are very light and they have a very good uh, defense so uh, it's very good for uh, flyers but not uh, particularly very awesome for uh, land it's still useful but uh, in land you can use the C uh, armored cube blocks to cover your ship up as you can see they're not that expensive and they still have pretty decent amount of armor so if you cover your ship uh, or robot that is going on the land with this um, it's gonna hold up pretty well specifically if your rail cannon misses anything it's gonna uh, it has enough mass to take care of things and it, it's it's like a more like a tank you know it's not fancy it's not like you know um, shields up or things like that it's very as go uh, to the ground and and it's not it's cheap also so you can build a very big vehicles with this so this was my uh, review and uh, tutorial about electroplates. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, like it if you liked it. Dislike if you uh, disliked it. And leave a comment what you think about it or what you want to see covered next. And uh, as always, please subscribe. Thank you.